This island is one of the most beautiful islands in the whole world. Recently gone under major restoration and redevelopment work, it was closed down for six whole months. The world-famous Boracay Island was closed down in the Philippines. Boracay Beach was shut down. Only residents and workers were allowed in. It's back open and we're really excited to show you what it's like now. Yeah, we have. Right, guys, we're going to show you something that you've probably never seen before, and this is probably one of the world's smallest airports. Don't quote me on that, but it's probably one of the world's smallest airports. And this is how your baggage gets delivered. So the baggage is hand delivered in a bit of a chaos. Everyone wants to get their bags right away. Right, I can see our bag right over there behind that guy. So anytime now, he's going to be placing ours onto the shelf, which we'll grab. Hey, looks like the guy got it, and here we are. Woo, we made it into the van guys. So as soon as you come out of the airport, you've got options to pay 1,050 pesos, which includes your van, your boat, your transfers, your environmental fees, right through to your hotel. But we've paid 100 pesos each, just for the van only. So let's see which one's cheaper. Doing it separately, or if we would have paid the 1,000 pesos to get the all together ticket. Woo, so a few minutes later, the van is off. Luckily, we didn't have to wait for it to fill up. That's what I was thinking. Maybe we're going to be here for a while. But no, we're off right to the port. So it should be about a 10, 15 minute journey to the port. So let's see what happens. So in order to get to Barakai Island, you have to come to this ferry port over here, which is called Kataklan. There's a residence or non-tourist lane and a tourist lane. We have the privilege to get our bag scanned again, security first. So let's go through and check how much these uh, boat tickets are. So, forms filled in, very, very simple. Just ask for your hotel, your name, number of people. Now, we're going to the ticketing booth for the environmental fee. Oh, ticket, 50 pesos only. There you go. But then you've also got foreign prices here as well. So, Terminal fee over here, boat ticket over there. So 150 each for terminal fee. Okay, so terminal fee and environmental fee done. Now we need to get our boat ticket. Let's see how much that is. So 100 pesos in total for the boat tickets. So 50 pesos each. So before you get on the boat, you give them some tags. Whee! I think there's a limit to the number of people on the boat, so once you reach a certain number, they know it's time to go. We made it! Finally, after all those ticket Check transfers, point. checkpoints, and all the kind of stuff you have, we've arrived. And for those of you who don't know, Boracay, the island itself, is situated about a 10-15 minute ride from the airport. We are so excited to show you what it currently looks like right now in 2023. Ah, Miss Zacharias! So the transfer from Boracay here to our hotel was 400 because it's on the other side of the island, secluded away from the main beach. All in all, we saved 500 pesos by doing it separately ourselves so i think it's definitely worth doing it separately yourself and just going to the pier buying the tickets and all that kind of stuff rather than paying 1050 each for a combined ticket when you come out of the airport something i didn't expect to be saying but our driver is just going to change his battery right now yeah, oh, here we have it. Oh, there it is. Wow, it's a big battery. Big, massive, old school. Wow, thing. that is freaking heavy. Wow. 70 kilo, yeah? And how long does one battery last? Uh, four hours. Four hours. Four hours, hours one battery. Uh, charging 75 kilometers for uh, Oh, 75 kilometers. Charging station over here and over there. You can see him plug it in there. 420. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was very interesting, guys. Yeah, that so that was very cool. Right, so we need the hotel. We'll see you there. We 
we made it guys to the Savoy Hotel. We're just gonna check in, get our room and we'll give you a bit of a tour. Thank you. Thank you guys. We've got our room keys 2050 Premier Deluxe with pool viewer apparently. So let's go and check it out. Ready? Let's, let's go. go. Whoa! Wow, this room is pretty decent, you know. It's quite big compared to the other ones. So much room for activities. activities. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. First things first, Zakaria is out on the carpet. Yeah, look, there he goes. There he goes. He's oh, going to now look around. Carpet, carpet, carpet. There he is. There oh, he is. oh, 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 this oh, there is. Whoa. You're so fast. Whoa. You're so fast. Oh my God. Look at this PD Gonzalez. Okay people, so before we go ahead with our Boracay vlog, we have come to Chicken in the South and what's quite interesting is I've noticed that they literally come over to your table and refill the rice on your plate. So we're going to try the chicken for the first time and we have three different staff and they all said that it's in love. We're going to give it a try and let's see what it tastes like. Oh my god, that is so good. What I noticed people do as well is they take the calamansi and they put it in here. They just like mix it up like that and then they go in with the rice. If you know me, I'm Mr. Healthy. And grilled chicken and plain rice is as healthy as you can get here. So I am over the moon that we can go to a place to get some of this simple food. Because at the end of the day, I'm a simple guy. I'm going to go in with some of the chicken breast. You know what? It looks perfectly cooked. Dip it in some of this soy and calamansi mix. That's good. I found my go-to place here in Philippines, I think. 100% from me. As good as Nando's. That is a big statement. That's a bold statement from you, Fambos. Filipinos, you should be proud of that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Look what we have here, people. We're trying Hello Hello for the first, first time. And let me tell you one thing. It looks absolutely beautiful when it comes to desserts, I have to say. There's ice cream, there's some banana, there's some jelly looking stuff, some beans there. Looks like a bit of condensed milk all over some shaved ice. So I know straight away it's going to be nice cooling on this hot, hot, hot day. Right, so I'm going to go in with the shaved ice, first things first. With a few of these beans, purple ice cream, which I think is ube ice cream. Oh, it's so cold, there's some steam coming off it. That is delicious. If it comes to desserts in a hot country, that is refreshing. Look at that piece of banana. It looks like it's frozen, dried, something like that. Rehydrated dry banana, that is good. It's cold. Oh. <laughs> Investigate it. That means it's a yes from him, I think. This is one of the most prettiest looking desserts I have ever seen in my life. I'm just going to try the ice cream first. Mm. That is delicious. When it comes to cold drink, my team are really sensitive. So you're not getting a reaction right now, but oh my god, that was like heaven in my mouth. That is really nice. This is so rich, so creamy, the consistency, god. Mm -mm. Oh my god, that lunch was absolutely delicious and you know what, I'm stuffed. It's exactly what we needed, that boost, but oh my god, that dessert was absolutely insane. One thing that I have to say is Boracay Island is now in full swing. It's reopened and everyone is back. If you look behind us and look around, there are so many people here on holiday enjoying this beautiful island. Wow, beautiful island. Beautiful Hi, island, Dean. Yeah. Hello, 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 hello. Thank you very you much. You the bell notifications, thank you. That's the one, the bell as well, mate, all in. Thank you very much. Slava po. <laughs> so Boracay Beach, which is a white beach, is split up in three <laughs> sections. You've got Station 1, 2 and 3. Station 1 is basically where you'll find the finest sand and it's where you'll find the most luxurious resorts. 
Station 2 is the more busier area where you've got all the shops and the crowds there and it's all centred around D-Mall which is pretty much where the shops, restaurants and everything you'd expect for tourists to have there. And the final station is Station 3 which is less crowded and it's very quiet and you'll find the cheaper resorts. There are parts of the island which actually you can see have been closed down and that's because of some of the major redevelopment work that's happened on the island. One of the main goals was to get rid of the illegal buildings and enforce the 25 plus 5 metre rule which means basically there's a gap between the building and the beach. And what this has resulted in is a less crowded, bigger beach for everyone to enjoy and I have to say it is evident. If you've been to Boracay before, you can actually feel the open space now. There's not many beach vendors about, there's still people obviously selling boat tours and all that kind of stuff, but you'd expect that on a beach. But now it does feel like a lot bigger and a lot more spacious, even though we have come at a time when tourism is pretty much back at its peak, according to a few of the locals here. There's no more of that green, disgusting algae across the beach and one of the things that I'm really amazed and over the moon about is there's hardly any plastic both on the beach and in the sea. As with any closure obviously the locals were really really impacted as tourism came to a standstill. One of the great things for the locals was that all the original indigenous people and their ancestors who owned land were given official paperwork for their ownership for all the land here which is something that didn't exist before. Not all was lost and there were some positive things that came out of this. And obviously the island is now once again restored to its natural beauty. We're finishing it off right outside yours truly, Jollibee! And that's right, our van is literally just there to pick us up and take us back to the hotel. So it's a perfect time to say goodbye, my friend! Isn't it Baba Do you have a good day? Yeah. You have a good day? Honestly guys, Boracay is absolutely amazing right now. You have to make it one of your places to visit here in the Philippines. Or if you, even if you're local, get yourself down here. It's all open, it's amazing. Yeah, honestly, in 2023, guys, the sun, the beach is just absolutely epic. The waters are clear, the walk, it's just heaven. We hope you enjoy the insight of what it currently looks like. And on that note, guys, remember to follow your visions, and we'll see you on the next one. We'll see you in the next one, Bubba Ciao, Bella. Yeah. Salamat po. Salamat po.